Hello, hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Well, tonight, technically. So it's currently 12.30 a.m. It's in the morning for me right now. And uh, well, I wanted to play some Seven Days to Die. <laughs> I had uh, been making some stuff for my new game today. Well, not making stuff. I guess I was programming more than making stuff. Day. But uh made some progress with that. And that's what I did today. And I just did not want to stream on top of that. But normally around this time I read manga. I just finished one though. But I still really want to play Seven Days to Die. So we're doing a stream of it right now so we can do that. So let's open up this game and get this bad boy started. We'll prepare for the horde night, survive the horde. And then we might just end things there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's pretty late. Though I don't go to bed till like 5 in the morning anyway. So let's go! That was the Q game for you to start up. Just so you know. No? Try it again then. Man. Timing is just not with us. Steam has been acting weird for me lately. Last couple hours, anyway. Like, it hasn't been launching the game properly or something. I don't know. It's been weird. It's saying preparing to launch seven days to die, but is it doing that? Is it launching? I don't know. What's my task manager say? Does it say that it's launching the game? It's showing Steam doing stuff. I don't see seven days to die here, though. Why are there so many instances of Microsoft Edge running when I don't even have it open? And why is it using so much memory? Hey, select all these. End task. End task. End task. Uh -huh. Well, I killed those. Okay. Hub for what is this? Why is it not launching? What on earth is going on? Close this, close this window. Stop the preparing. Let's go to my library on Steam. Cancel. Bruh. Uh, by seven days to die. Unable to sync. Steam was unable to sync your recent saves with the Steam Cloud. What do you mean? You may have not previously... You, you may not have previous game progress, and you may permanently lose it. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't think I save anything on Steam Cloud anyway. I think it's all saved locally when it's seven days. Oh, it looks like seven days is actually loading now. For some reason. Bizarre. Why is the origin web service helper started on my task manager as well? <laughs> what? And that. PDF suite is open as well? Apparently. I don't need this though. I don't know why these are open. I don't know why that's open. Yeah. All right, anyway. <clears throat> We can uh, start back up. I forgot what we were doing last time, to be honest. Previously, we had done a lot of different things. Explored a little. Chopped some trees down. Made a dreidel fun of it. As a side note, I was trying to update my graphics drivers to the latest version, but it keeps saying fail to download, and I don't know why. Maybe I need to restart my computer. Hasn't been restarted in a while. Do I have an uptime command? Uptime. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, 
But we're loading here. Oh, but surely. Also, it's been 26 days since I restarted my computer, so maybe a little bit overdue. Right. Task manager. All right. Let's see, that was daylight. Right, that's right. Taking a moment to catch up. I'm glad I wasn't in front of anything that would cause the, uh, the axe to damage it. Um, use you, game. What, uh, what are we doing here? Hold on. Pause. What is going on here, y'all? Why are we at 100% GPU usage? Hold up. What's well, taking up all my GPU? Literally just seven days to die and... Twitch. Good deal, huh? Okay, yeah. I need to buy like a dedicated graphics card to run this or something like is hold on do i have two instances of the game running no why hold up why is there a unity crash handle uh, i'm so why is it why is it lagging uh, so much Makes no sense. Hold on. I'll, I'll just restart. Alta 4. Okay. Close out of that. The graphics are on low, like the very lowest, so it makes no sense. Lucky Maker. I, I don't understand. I'm like, like, if I'm not streaming the game, I can run it like just perfectly. So it's weird. I got a 1080 graphics card and like 120 gigabytes of RAM and stuff. But this, try to relaunch it. I don't know. I was running it just fine like yesterday, was it? Yeah, yesterday. I was streaming just fine. Well, okay, just fine, but whatever. Maybe it was because I was like alt-tabbed while I was loading in, so it was kind of weird or something. Yeah, I don't know. Go. I do have a Windows update, so I wonder if maybe I uh, install that tonight at some point. And then see if I can install my graphics driver update. And then see if seven days will run properly and maybe even run on better graphics. Hmm? That'd be cool. Who knows though? We'll see. We'll see. First of all, we just need to see if I can actually run the game right now. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. I literally did nothing since last time we played. So. I mean, right now, the GPUs. Fine. It's sitting that around a good amount, but now it's picking up for some reason. I guess we're getting into the game, yeah. Okay, let's just give it a second. I'm gonna not do anything for like a moment or two. I'm gonna let it go. I can already it's still stuttering, I can see it. I'm not even moving anything, but it's like stuttering a little bit here. Yeah. It, it's still not doing right, man. What the hell? I don't understand why it's doing this. Eh. Not in windowed mode either. Like if we look at that ah, crap. Okay. Look at my options. We go to video. We have full screen is on. All this stuff's here. The quality, custom, because everything's on low. Wait, why is everything on ultra? Oh, 
I must have been fiddling with my, uh, I was fiddling with my graphics stuff. I was like, I'm going to optimize my, my settings. So I optimized my settings with the NVIDIA control panel and it was like, let's set it to ultra. So my computer knows it can handle ultra. It's just not for some reason. Oh my God, even setting it, there we go, okay. Lowest, there we go. And then let's jump this texture up to half. Hit apply. Okay. Now do we, uh, not lag, okay. Now we're good. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, it's weird. I didn't even click a button to optimize the, uh, the game when I was in my NVIDIA control panel. I guess it just automatically did it then. That's a thing. But, yeah. But it's still weird that it optimized to ultra and yet it's lagging, right? Okay. Regardless, let's go ahead and step on outside. So the Horde Knight is tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, I would not have checked my graphics if, I, if you would not have said windowed mode to prove it to you. But, uh, so this is our base, like, a, like we had planned out. We're going to do kind of a tiered system where I can shoot down to the lower tiers. And uh, as the zombies get in, I'll put them down. But I was thinking what we should do is surround our base with more spikes. Because right now at the front, there's nothing here really to protect us. Because they can just kind of come in this way or they'll hit some spikes and just kind of just peter off. So. For now, I'm going to go ahead and beat around the bush. Speak. While I'm crafting some of those spikes, we'll do that and then go ahead and chop down some trees, get some wood. I also check out my uh, crops to see if anything grew over here. Are they grown or still growing? Still growing, okay. I'm glad there's a tool tip there to say growing. It's helpful. All right. Go for tonight tonight. Yeah, you have a good night, man. Going into bed bugs by. here too excellent get rid of this tree it's a little close to the house I actually forgot we were on horde night works out even better for me fortify clean up and then tomorrow we can go for a bike ride Fun. I mean, my GPU is still at 100%, though. But not nearly as 100% as it was before. If that makes sense at all. Okay. Dream. How are we looking on bikes? Go ahead and craft 30 more. I think I'll be good for right now. Bikes anyway. Let's toss them down here. Toss down the oak seeds, I suppose. Nope. I got to port around a little bit because of airdrops.
I mean, I'm not going to try one thing. Hold on. Hide video preview. I'm going to hide the, uh, the video preview of my stream for me and see if that does anything for my performance or anything like that. Doesn't seem to. Recording software is still taking the same amount of GPU usage. And actually, I'm not even sure why my... Recording software is taking up 24% of my GPU usage. I feel like it shouldn't be doing that. If it's not using video, right? The graphics? I don't know how it works. I just record, man. Well, if that's the case, I'm just going to toggle that back on there. Okay. What are we doing? I think I might as well just use up the rest of this axe. Then we'll repair it after we have the wood and go around fortifying stuff and building stuff. The days always seem to go on so long when you're just doing tedious things like this. But if we were to like go out and loot things. The day would be over so quick, so fast, so fast. All right. Knocking down plenty of trees, at least. Oh God, we got a. We've got a long way from the, uh, the base, huh? Moment here. Generator stamina. Wood we got right now a thousand. We need like triple that. Actually, I would set up for like ten times that. You know, while we're just wishing for things. Put the trunk of this tree out there. It is. It's always nice that the uh, trees give you saplings that you can plant. Because if they didn't, it would just be a uh, whole mess to try and get wood over and over again, rebuild things. Take out this big tree. My axe is about to go. go. Right, let's chop down this little one here that's not growing. This tree should be the last one. Because we're, we're definitely going to have to repair our axe here in a moment. Yep, there we go. Now let's repair the axe, finish cutting down this tree, and then I think we'll have enough lumber for a little while. Okay.
let's take a look at what we got here. Right, we're still working on putting spikes around this side here. Looks like. So real quick, I'm just going to plant these trees outside here. That way I get these seeds out of the inventory and we got trees growing, you know how it is. They'll be a certain distance away from each other. Looks like they do. Man, I can't wait for the day I get a chainsaw. Ah, oh, the number turned red for the day up top. Boy. I have so many seeds. Maybe I should not plant the oak seeds. These are just kind of bigger, and then I have to deal with like two types of seeds. I just plant one type of seed. That'll help me out. All right, let's go. Well, I think I will begin initiating my my plan here. And that is to surround the spikes with walls. All right. Frame. How many can I make total? 800. Okay, let's make 100 and call that good. The models are making. Let's go ahead and fortify this stuff. a pretty good way to get experience right now so um let's see here there and this one goes here I'll rotate there okay don't go back come on now. put this around this side Excellent. All right. Okay. Now let's finish up this side here. Carefully place them down so we don't hurt ourselves. One here, there, and one there. Okay. Just that. Good. Now, all right, 
Like now I pretty much have uh, spikes everywhere except for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight places. If I can place one more spike here, I guess. Let's make seven more. Okay. So make seven more of these. And I'm gonna place that one, two, three, four. So Five. Five. Put a block here so I can stand on it and it's easier. Plus five. Here's six and seven. There we go. Gonna stack them up there so they're nice and tall. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but it looks okay. I'll deal with that. Now, we'll just surround the spikes, layer of walls. Easy peasy like. We might not actually finish this before night falls, looking at the time goes by. You know, it felt so short, or it felt like it took so long when we were chopping trees down. And now when we're building, it's like, man, it's already been four hours. Surely. Got it. Nice. Okay. We'll do one more. I think that gets us. Need to go one more up. Need to go four high. Okay, well, go and then I can build this one. I don't want to give it a chance to fall, so let's do that. side. Excellent. I might not get this section completed. But it will be kind of cool. Can I hit this from here? I can. Because the idea is to build this wall four high and then get those bars extended over the top of the whole thing and then around the perimeter as well so I can shoot down at any zombies who are attacking the walls. And the zombies will attack the walls. And after they breach this wall, they'll have to come inside, hit the spikes, take more damage, and 
I could also put spikes around this outer wall to give them damage as well. But that's definitely not going to get done before tonight happens. We're not even going to think about that right now. And how much wood do I have left? 600? Not great. Not bad. Let's place all that we can here for now. Okay. At least like to finish up this double wall, you know? Pretty close, though. Completed. A little more to do back here. <coughs> okay, excuse me. <coughs> Man. Okay, let's make 20 more of these. do it so I can't upgrade them, you know? Okay. Outer wall is finished. Beautiful. Now, let me see here. Don't have much more wood. I think what I'll do right now. I'm just gonna make a pathway over here. So I can get down. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Yeah, I need one more spike. Fill this place out. Craft it. Okay. We're not going to be using the spikes quite yet. Let's go down and get our cobblestone. We didn't have that with us. Okay. Materials, cobblestone. Do I have any more? I don't think I do. All right. So we got that. Anything else I want to grab before we go back up? Ba, 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 ba. I don't think so. I think we're good. We need that cobblestone to upgrade some more stuff. Plant. Okay, let's go. Okay, carefully. Avoid falling down. Since this place right here is going to be kind of load-bearing for this arch, probably solidify those. I highly doubt they're going to get up to the point where they can attack the top of it, so it doesn't really matter too much for that. But, upgrade these regardless. Okay. And also just go ahead and fortify the corners to begin with. At least too high for now. Go because the corners is where they could validate and stuff. Right, well, since we have time and we uh, are going to be out of stuff to build here in just a moment. 
Still so much time. I'll go ahead and chop some more wood. And let's chop wood until 1600. There we go. Here are the big trees. One with 1,200 there. Actually, before I do this, let me do my stat points. Mother load. Harvest more firm stuff. Let's go ahead and grab, and grab that. Should I get the next level too? I don't know. I'll hesitate on that one. Honest. Uh. That would be good to have right now. What's an electrocutioner? And craft stun batons and stuff. I don't care about stun batons. Um, should I get from the shadows? Hide the shadows more effectively. Your sneak movement's faster. Was it a muffled? Eh, don't care about that. Because it's batons. This is for pistols, right? I don't care about that right now. Then factor iron gut. Pain tolerance was HP loss reduced by 5%. Less chance to get stunned. That one does sound good, but I don't know. Maybe we just focus back into here again, yeah. Learn how to make several pumpkin dishes. Huh. Cool. Minor 69er is increased block damage with any tool. You know what? Let's go ahead and just get this. Since we are harvesting trees, we'll grab both of those. That'll let us get more resources, cut more resources down. Fun. On to the next tree. So far, well, it's calm before the storm when you're out here. Find your own business. Red number day up there. I'm going to give it a moment to get my stamina regen here. Gonna sit around and do nothing for a moment. Plan. Let's continue. Wasted the hit there. All right, moving on to the next tree. And just build 200 frames. I know that's a lot, but we're going to be cutting down another hour's worth of trees, so. I think we're going to have plenty of wood. This is the church we just got. And look at that. 150, well, 142 damage technically, but still. Not bad. All these frames I'm making, sure, 200 is a little excessive. I don't think we're going to use them all to build here today, but for repairs and stuff like that, it'll help, of course. So. I 
So I'm going to move my seeds down here. One more good swing. Okay. All that is... Oh, and I'm going to wait for my stamina regen while I plant some more seeds and stuff. Come on. Have seed. One more. There we go. All right. Back to the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the heavy swing. I'm not sure it's worth it. All right. All my frames are done building. Oops, that was a wooden frame, not a sapling. Why am I wet? Is it raining or something? It's raining. Drizzle, I think. Right, is it? I can see some rain particles, yeah. Okay. Alright, once we're finished with this tree, I think we'll start replanting. I'm gonna head back towards home since it's getting to be about that time. How much wood do we have? 200? Not bad. Oh, I didn't realize this one tree was here. I put this one down too. I don't like the look of the uh, oak ones. They're too big and thick. They can hide zombies too easily. Plant all these. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and throw away these other ones. Alright, so last time when we had zombies, a lot of them came from this side. So I think I'll use the rest of my cobblestone to fortify this wall here. If I have any left, I'll do the other side as well. Use the other corner anyway. Think dog. Hit. Nope. And grass hitboxes get in the way now. And we still have 400 left. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to lose a little wall here in the front. We have 300, okay. This one. I'm going to move in the last second. Ideally, before, like an hour before Lord Night comes, or the night falls, I should say, I want to get down back into the base, get all my guns and ammunition, get ready to fight out, mess them up. We're just going to go around the base from now, finish fortifying everything. Last time, these were the two directions that the hordes came from. Looks like we're out. All right. They came from like right over here and slammed into this wall and made a mess there. And they also made a mess over on that side. So. Do what we can here to. Goddamn. Too far. Raise this wall up so they can't jump over the wall, just in case. Go around the whole outside here with these.
corner. One, two, three, four. these bad boys. I'm thirsty. That's fine. Do I have any water on me right now? Nope. I'm an idiot who doesn't carry stuff with me, apparently. I was like, oh, I'll be home. I can just run and get it, but I'll go and get it now. What level did I become last time, by the way? No, I'm asking what level I was. Is it here? Is it current level? Level. It is not. Oh, it said 22, my bad. Why did I gain two experience points level 22? I think at some point I'd like to tear this little bit up there. A little bit too close to the uh, area of my comfort. You know what I mean? Okay. So with the last row of walls here. The last, uh, yeah, I guess it technically is a row. The column is vertical. Uh, the last horizontal section. Uh, last layer of walls, I suppose would be better things. To be able to just finish this up, I think once we finish hammering all these together, we might actually be level 23. Oh, we got some ominous thunder again. Thunder, huh? It doesn't look like the durability of the hammer goes down when you're upgrading stuff, huh? I guess it's only when you're mailing or something. Okay. That is completed. Now, let's change the shape to bars. So, of course, advanced bars. Let's see if these can reach all the way over here without falling to the ground. Perfect. Go ahead and 
pick these ones up for now, because now I have a way back across, so it's not as big of a deal. Oh my god. I gotta still pick stuff up, huh? Okay. Fix up these now. Now I can shoot anywhere over the spikes here. Since this is where the front door is at, it'll help me out quite a bit. My hand's getting closer and closer. We're definitely not going to have enough time to place all of these, I don't think. At least make this as wide as it can be right now. Also, I don't really care too much about the corners. We can just get the main sides done. So we just have an easy way to get into and out of stuff, right? So let's do this. Branch here. Do a couple over here. Careful not to fall into the spikes while doing this. These. Why am I crouched? When did I crouch? Okay. Very, very nearing twenty two hundred. Not be careful. Are the bars turned now? What? Oh no, these are always the way I've been. I'm just the ones that were inside further looks different, so I was like, what the hell? I almost just fell down into there. Okay. Finish up this stuff here. Delicate procedure here. Now I get just the right lip there. There, all right. I think just to be safe, this will be the last bit I do right now. Still need to go down here. Get these. And then place these here. All right. That is done, Ski Doodle. Now let's get down here. Okay. Materials. Store all these. I'm going to store my extra bars in there. All right. What do we need? What do we need and what do we not need? That's the question. So we're going to, of course, put away our bone pick. 
do not need that right now. Um, our sledgehammer, we do not need that right now. We also don't need our axe, so I'm going to remove that. Put this one here. Bandages will put on three. What was that? Throw the eggs in here quick. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and eat some... Hmm. You know what? Let's... Let's use the sham chowder. Go. Grab that, throw that in there. Medical supplies. Um, I don't think I need anything else right now. That for now. Uh, over to our weapon box. Get our shotgun. Get our pistol. Shotgun, pistol, and all this other ammo. Perfect. I think that's all we need right now. Um, let's make sure everything's reloaded. Good. I love the reload animation for this. It's so, like, beefy and clunky. But, like... Yeah, alright. This has ammunition. This is reloaded. Everything's pretty much good. I guess. Could be better, to be honest. Um, I don't have any arrows. That's fine. We're going to have to make do anyway. What was this? Melee damage, stamina resist, health, damage mitigation, stamina regen. None of this really helps us unless we get into a clobber fight, which I do not want to get into right now. Um, we have our resources to repair our tools. We have our bat and stuff. What was that? I like funky sound. Funky a word. Another bottle. Alright. It's time, ladies and gents. Go. This hatch needs to be closed so the zombies don't go down and fall into our base. That'll be closed. All right, let's go over the plan. First and foremost, we'll use our nice wide open area to scout where they're coming from, fight off which ones we can. Uh, once they get near the walls, we'll shoot down at them to kill them. Once they breach the walls, they'll probably come for the door and then we'll shoot them while they're down outside of it. Once they breach here, we'll shoot them on the ladder so that they die before they're getting into the hatch. When it looks like they're about to breach the hatch, we'll go to the next floor up, close that hatch, get into there as well, and then we're going to repeat that same process to the final layer and uh, kind of go from there. And if we need to, we'll be able to jump off that top top roof onto the outer lip of this and then down onto this platform and then just like book it into the house. Um, so that'll be the plan. Also, I am going to go ahead and change the texture quality to an eighth. So it's completely on the lowest settings. Everything's lowest of the low. Can't get better than that. Just to iron out any possible other potential frame issues. So let us begin. The Night of the Horde. There they come. I missed that shot already. Gotta come from a different angle this time, huh? Just jumping right on top of you, huh? One. Shouldn't matter too much as long as they don't get near that door too quickly. Got another one. Plenty of shotgun shells right now, so. Alright, they're hammering away the door now. I 
so this is a little bit too much here. The hatch next. A little too soon. I'll uh, put a pair of this hatch here real quick. Not gonna do anything, crap. We gotta go. Next hatch, next hatch, next hatch. Close it, close it, close it. Oh boy. Gun or something. Gotta go to the next one. Oh my god. this real quick. I already had another orientation, damn it. You bastards. Click and head, click and head. Come on, come on. Come on, ladies. Come on, come on. Got him. Get behind the vault door. Oh, I have this hatch up, guy. All right, reload everything. Let's go. Let's go. Reload. Reload.
I had mud. Dog made it for a second. I think I missed his head. I have a pistol. Get out of here. Get out of here, lady. Pause for a second and say, I think I need to turn down the number of zombies that spawn during a horde. I think we're a little bit too high currently for this to continue going. You know what I mean? Okay. Crap. Both of you got through? Oh my god. Ah, damn it. Come on, hit their head. Jeez. Out of here, lady. Okay, I'm out. Peace. Close all the bunker doors. I repeat, all the bunker doors. Is that a broken leg? Is that what that is? Yep. Okay. Well. That's a thing that happens. <laughs> um, use this cast. I think that's a better solution, right? Is there a way to heal out abrasion? Treating your abrasions are healing faster. Great. Um, let's take some of these. All right. Go ahead and reload our guns while we have a chance. I haven't even used the bow yet. Go. We're gonna get through that hash and stuff in just a moment. All the hatches and stuff just gone, bruh. Oh come on, don't move last second, maybe. I almost walked off the edge there. Did I hit him? Get her. There we go. You gotta get back up or you gotta stay down? You're gonna get back up. Okay, you're dead. Okay. Let me get down here. 
Search this bag before it despawns. Secure my house. Definitely need to figure out why I'm lagging. It is not great. Oh, they were making a huge ruckus up here. I guess they were trying to get back to that back door and stuff. Okay. Oh, looks like they're all gone. I guess the ones who were down here must have come back and... Stuff like that. Excellent. Works for me. We survived the horde this time, guys. We survived the horde. I'm going to use this goldenrod tea as a celebratory sip. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. I think I need to build like five more hatches now. Uh, it's still nighttime though. We need to be a little careful. But I think for the most part, strategy worked. Uh, if we just had like a, a vault door in front of our our primary house there. We could have held for a lot longer, right? Because these vault doors are hamstered, right? It also takes steel, though. So, if I go down, I can't make them. But I can make a... I think I can make an iron door, right? A door. What do I need for an iron door? I need forged iron, of course. But I can do that. That's simple enough. What's this item? All right, it was a shirt. I'll just do that. Uh, I was going to make a couple of hatches. You know, I could just make some iron hatches. I think I'll make some iron hatches, you know. Place those around and survive and whatnot. So our plan worked just perfect, right? From the whole coming down here and running away thing. I was messing up on my numbers. If you would see me like hitting five, and I was like, oh crap, that's the gun. Which one's the gun? Ah. Uh, kind of panicking there in the heat of the moment. Especially when they get through this door, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. This ain't great. But we came out on top. We uh, survived the night for the most part. Um, yeah, all in all, I think things went, things went absolutely well for us. That they did. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse, right? I don't know which way this opens. What the fuck? How do I tell which way this opens? I guess we'll find out. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, I need the small part to be facing me. Okay. What a waste. What a huge waste that was right there. I pick this up. Oh, man. Whatever. I don't have the want to deal with that right now. Last minute sweep here. We're still locked. They couldn't destroy that one for me. Maybe destroy some stuff up here. I was thinking about holding here for a moment, but uh, I decided that would not be ideal. If I did, I could easily be flanked. I think that's actually what happened a little bit, too. I'll go ahead and repair some of these. Mostly ignore those middle ones, though. Those metal ones, they got a lot of use right there, huh? Good. Well, let's finish that one up here. Okay. Patch goes towards me. Perfect. Alright. Up 
up next. I'm pretty sure I did more damage to the ladders than the zombies did. But that might just be me thinking about it too hard. Ah, crap. So much more reinforced. Stuff. They even took out this door, those jerks. Man. I don't know why I'm lagging right now. What the hell is happening? It was so hard to get out of these, like, while I was, like, lagging like that, though. Perfect. I'll just leave these open as I go down here. I need to remember to, uh, upgrade these later. Okay. Well... Anyway, we survived, so I think that helps us out. And and we don't even have to clean up the spike traps right now. We can just ignore that and continue on our way. All right, anyway. Poor iron. Door, I need a new door, please. Might as well just make it an iron door, right? <clears throat> At this point. So, I was thinking we could go and lower a bit with the bike right now. However, I think I will pass on doing that. I think I might just end the stream here right now, everyone. Um, simply because I'm just not exactly sure what is causing this lag. And I, mean, I wasn't even lagging. Uh, like last time, but now I'm all of a sudden just freaking out with lag. I don't know why. So I want to at least see if I can update my drivers, maybe restart my computer a bit, do, you know, the basic stuff. Um, got to try and do that. But yeah, I, I'm not sure what is causing this, so it's kind of putting me off, you could say. Let's get our stuff back here quick, though. There go. All right. Yeah, excellent. I even got some extra arrows somehow. Not sure how exactly, but whatever. All right, so like I said, once we return, I'm going to go upstairs and put this door down before I forget. But it will be good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll end things here. Um, like I said, once I get this door put down, that'll be the last thing I do before we end. And then when it comes back up, I will try and figure out what the heck is going on. My computer ain't seven days to die. In fact, I'm going to see if I can run it without framing and see if I have any issues. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, end things here, so y'all have a little bit of time. Bye for now.